realize that I start all my videos the same way by saying hi guys so here's something different today I am in Helsinki Finland for part of the day and it's a little chilly it's definitely a change from when I was here for a day last year Scandinavia was having their hottest summer in like 200 years and now it's in the 60s so I got what I asked for I just wasn't prepared I didn't bring the right sort of jackets or wardrobes so I'm kind of like just bundled up in this thin little jacket I was trying to come up with the best way to film this and not like shake the camera but I don't have a tripod so I'm like balancing the camera on a book and if I sit down I look really short and if I sit up well part of my five head is chopped off today I know we're gonna just kind of explore a bit but we wanted to get back to the market square it's by the dock there and there were a lot of different local vendors and different types of food. The salmon was actually really good. The salmon is supposed to be like some of the best in the world. And salmon and sushi is kind of like the main reason why I'm not vegan. I am vegetarian or I try to be most of the time. I am mainly vegetarian. But yeah, aside from the market square, I know there were a few churches we wanted to see. We're gonna kind of walk around and I think a decent amount of the places are kind of in the same area. That was weird, just like my hands randomly popping up. So I know most of the places are kind of in the same area or within 10-15 minutes walking distance. So we'll see, you know, as always, we'll see what happens. Um, my family, when we travel, we usually have kind of an idea of what we want to do, but it's also just dependent on what we come across, how the weather is, when people get hungry. You know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's already August. The year's almost over. And it's actually been a really crazy year. There's been so much traveling. And I've been incredibly thankful for all the time that I've been able to travel and see everything. I know that I'm not going to have a chance like this again once I move back or even just after the next, like, year or two. It's part of the reason why I wanted to make these vlogs was to share the experience with friends and family back home, but also so later I can review it and I can watch it and it's like a souvenir and, and you know, be able to relive what happened. Especially since I kind of struggle with a bit of anxiety and depression. Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to get out of my head when I'm traveling and having this allows me to review everything when I'm in a better headspace or if I'm not doing so great at the moment but then I can enjoy it later and see all the beauty that I missed because I was distracted. There you go. See that's kind of better but of course I got like a little zit as soon as I decided to record something. But yeah um if I could say something and finish, I would right now but I know absolutely nothing and I also know it's a very difficult language to learn. So, let's pretend I said something clever. Thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see what happens. It's a few days later from when I made the Helsinki vlog and I'm right now in Stockholm, Sweden for the next like handful of hours. Sorry, I dropped something. I was trying to casually pick it up, but it didn't work. I found out when starting to review the vlog for Helsinki, Finland that the majority of it was me talking and part of that had to do with a lot of the time we were there it was either walking or on the bus or waiting for the bus and that's not really you know, something I thought that anyone would care to see. I was there and I didn't care to see it. The weather looks a little bit better, but it's still kind of gray, so I'm hoping we don't get poured on. I was here for part of a day last year as well, and I got to see the palace and just kind of wander around. And we don't really know what we're doing today. Probably just gonna go by the old town and see what there is. And 
Um, from everything I've seen, Sweden and Stockholm is really beautiful, especially the posts that I've seen of when it's kind of out of the city and more in nature. But the one thing I will have to say is Scandinavia is a bit more expensive than other parts of Europe. And your girl's still a student and can't shell out like the big bucks for a souvenir or like one coffee. As much as I love food, you know, I, w I would be a lot thinner, or I would be thin if I lived in Scandinavia or Switzerland because I would not be able to afford to eat much. So not quite sure what we're going to see, but I'm going to combine this with the Helsinki vlog. As always, thank you guys for watching. the princess diaries and being like when she's looking in the mirror and she's like well this is as good as it's gonna get i'm gonna sneeze waiting for the sneeze the sneeze didn't come